Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris at Hydroponics of Birmingham, and today we're going to show you guys the initial setup of our NFT LTE system. So off camera, I've already filled this reservoir about three quarters of the way up, so I'm going to go ahead and top this off, and then I'm going to hook up the pump and show you guys how to properly hook your submersible pump up, show you guys where the poly tube needs to be, and as you recall earlier, we cut a hole in the lid there to run our power cord out and to run our poly tube in. So give me one second and I'll get to that. All right, we've got our reservoir topped off. So I'm going to go ahead and put our poly pipe through there. And I'm going to hook our submersible pump up to our half inch poly tubing. Get that hooked up. Get it seated back in there properly. Scoot my reservoir over and plug her up. And with this, basically what we're doing is we're just checking for leaks and seeing how the system runs and make sure everything's running properly and making sure we have a good flow rate. So right now I can see the water's coming down. That's a pretty good flow rate. You guys can see it coming through here. Uh, the water looks like it's flowing properly. So now I'm checking. I'm going to scoop my reservoir underneath there to make sure we're collecting all that water properly. So basically I'm going to let this run for about 20-30 minutes off camera and then I'm going to come back and show you guys how to transplant our seedlings. Alright guys, system. so what we're going to do now is go ahead and explain actually getting your seedlings out and transplanting them into your net cups and getting them into the system. So the first thing, if you recall when we planted these we put multiple seeds in each one of the actual rockwool cubes. So what we're going to do here is try to pull one of these guys out and once again Make sure you're being ginger because you don't want to damage any roots here. So I'm going to pull it out. Be careful with my roots. And then go through here. You can see there's four plants in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just cull two of them out. And I'm going to leave two in there. We may cull one later. We may not. But basically... To speed the process up, I'm going to try to get my root to go down through the net cup. So sometimes this can be a, a tedious process, but you don't want to break that root. I apologize about the delay. All right, so I've got my root going down. I'm going to go ahead and add some hydrogen to kind of get on the bottom there while my root's hanging. And I pre-wash this hydrogen. If you've never used hydrogen before, it can get really dusty. So basically what I'll do is I'll just fill a net cup up with my hydrogen and run that under some water and kind of use this as a colander, put it in a larger container, that way it's easier to work with. So I'm going to pull my root down and then I'm going to go ahead and fill the rest of this net basket with my hydrogen kind of shake it around, move it, that way you get it all in the little crevices there. But one key important thing to remember is to make sure you cover that rock wool cube completely with the hydrogen. You can really build up a lot of algae, and I'll show you that in a second in the tray, uh, when that happens. So I'm just going to keep covering that and being ginger with the plant here. You don't want to, this is a young you know, plant, you don't want to break it. But just keep in mind that plant will grow you know, over the hydrogen there. There's no reason to worry about overcrowding it. And then I'm just going to stick that directly into my system, make sure my root goes down into the pipe there. And then we'll repeat this process. This is black Simpson lettuce. So I'm going to try to get a root going down to it. Got her through. Lift this up just a little bit. Kind of get some hydrogen in there and shake it around on the bottom. Pull those plants back and just fill the rest of it. You can kind of shake it around a little bit to kind of ensure that you get all the hydrogen down actually in and around it. And then once again, make sure you cover the top of that. It is really easy to build up out. I'm going to continue to dump these in here and then pull my root down, plug this into my system. 
And earlier I was discussing algae. If you can see right here, this row, I guess it was non-viable seeds and they didn't uh, pop up at all, but you can see the green algae starting to build up right here. And that's just because it's the perfect environment. You have a, a really wet area and you have light exposed to it, and that's a great recipe for algae. I'm gonna go ahead and add my marker so I don't forget what lettuce this was. And that was the Black Simpson, and now we're moving on to bib lettuce. So once again, same process. Pulling my cube out. And I'm just being real, real careful not to break anything and pull those guys out. Try to get a root to go down through the neck cup. And one thing you can do is go ahead and make a little hole to save you some time. I couldn't get that root to go through, so I just cut off a small part of this net basket, and that's what I'm going to put my root down and through. All right. I got my plant in there. Once again, just cull out a couple of them. Hydrogen in the bottom. Give it a little shake around. Oh, that root's wanting to stick to the side of my cup here. And make sure you get it covered properly. And I'm going to stick this in my system. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these off camera and then come back to you and show you a few other tidbits and useful information that can help you have success in your NFT system. All right, guys, well, as you can see, we've transplanted all our seedlings and got them into our system. Uh, a lot of people will come up with all kinds of elaborate schemes as far as raising the water level and lowering the water level at different plant development stages. Um, I don't find that necessary. An NFT system basically is meant to have just a small layer of water running along the bottom of the pipe. And so until my roots hit the pipe, a simple solution is a turkey baster. And what we do is just remove the plant from its actual site, soak up a little bit of the nutrient solution, replace the plant, and just kind of baste it around the bottom of the plant. And as you recall, there's a rock wool cube in here. So basically, if you're wondering when it's time to water, just look at your cube. If your cube is moist, don't worry about watering, but if that cube gets dry, go ahead and baste a little bit on there. And your roots will grow through pretty quickly, and once they hit that pipe, they're gonna grow vigorously. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching this, and stay tuned for further plant development.